One of the coolest parts of running a Sailor Moon YouTube channel is the opportunity to support other small businesses. There are a lot of Sailor Moon inspired small businesses that happen here in the States as well as internationally. So anytime I get an opportunity to support them by sharing with you their products and what they make, any kind of beautiful crafts or arts, then I like to share those experiences with you. So I have a whole slew of goodies from my P.O. box. If you ever want me to review or unbox anything, you can also send products over to my P.O. box. I will put the address down below or a link to my current address down below. And I am always happy to do unboxings and share with everybody any kind of really cool products that are out there. Because oftentimes we can't find such cool items licensed. And I feel like this is a perfect example. Check out this trucker hat. Is that trucker hat not the coolest thing ever? I love this so much. I love that it's embroidered and I love how cute and girly it is for a trucker hat. This is so cute. So it does say moon power right there and the embroidery job on here is really, really lovely. This is made by a guy called Zach's Craft Room. Zach's Craft Room has made a few other Sailor Moon items, but I was just in love with this hat. I love it so much. Definitely check them out at the link below if you are interested in snagging one of these for yourself. This is a really beautiful satin robe. It's by a company called Pins and Needle. So Pins and Needle makes a few different satin robes, but this is the one that really caught my eye and caught my attention. On the back, it says Silver Millennium Moon Castle, and it has this awesome embroidery in gold. It's this very shiny gold thread of the Moon Palace. There you can see it in all of its glory. There are a couple of pockets on this satin robe and it also came with a matching belt. So I'm able to wear the belt too. And this is long enough that it would be very comfortable to wear if I'm having like an at-home spa day. So I love this satin robe. I think it's so pretty and so nice and so unique as well. This company is called Spotty Dog Decals and this was inspired by Sailor Moon. And I have a feeling you're going to know exactly why I purchased these. These decals, look at her hair. Her hair is awesome. Her hair looks so much like my hair. I had to have this. I feel like if I had hair long enough to do these kind of odongos, that's what my hair would look like if I dyed it purple again. Right now I'm growing my roots out so I don't have the purple in there, but give it a few months. You will see this come back and it will be very, very similar to this. I love it. Her outfit is so cool. I love the hair, obviously. The skirt is so adorable. And I love that she has little teeny tiny fangs. I also got this one, this little peekaboo one. And I got a miniature version of this decal that I could put like on the back of a laptop, for example. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the big one yet. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. But it's so cool. I really wanted to display it. I love this art. I think it's very unique. And it's all about the hair color for me. It's all about the hair color. So that is by Spotty Dog Decal. This is a signed art print by Christina V. I actually got this at a local convention and then I put it away with all my other goodies for a while, but, but I am going to be putting this into a binder with all of my other autographed materials. I have some art pieces by Lennon Artwork. Lennon Artwork is very popular in the fan art community. Uh, they do some really beautiful, beautiful art styles of Sailor Moon. Here we have this gorgeous holographic print of Sailor Moon in all her different forms. I also picked up this much larger print of all of the Guardians. This one is based off of a pretty popular manga piece of art by Naoko, but this one is in an anime style. Lennon artwork also did this very pretty one, which is on more of a metallic-y paper. This one features, of course, Sailor Moon, Neo Queen Serenity up at the top, and then we have Chibiusa and Pegasus down at the bottom. And I love that Lennon artwork uses different kinds of paper to display their art. These are some beautiful pieces of art by Channel Square. So Channel Square did this one for Christmas. It's such a cute piece of Usagi. I also picked up this one, which is on this holographic paper of Super Sailor Moon. Really, really beautiful. I love that she's surrounded by talismans. So we have Pluto's talisman there. We have, of course, the space sword and we have Michiru's or Neptune's mirror. Very pretty. And I love Halloween. 
So I had to get this very cute print of Usagi in a little witchy costume. And look at the little Luna in, I love this little like Luna P inspired pumpkin. Just cute overall. And this one is also on that holographic paper. This is a little batch of stickers from Channel Square. I got this one. I really like that. I feel like that would be like an awesome logo for a community. So cute, very pretty. This one is so cute of Usagi. The Halloween print, of course, again, <laughs> I can't stop myself. But I believe that these are some acrylic stands. Now, if you've never seen any of these type of videos from me, I have a whole playlist down below. It's called Artist Alley. Those are the videos that I do of my P.O. Box unboxings. Whenever folks send me um, items to unbox on this channel, I always like to include those in my Artist Alley videos. So Barbara D. Designs, you have seen her on my pin haul videos. She created a couple of sticker books. So I intend to use these to stick all of my extra stickers that I have because I have a ton of stickers. I have like a library of stickers. This is a larger sticker book with tons and tons of pages in it. So very, very useful. And I love the artwork on the front and the back of this sticker book. So this is a reusable sticker book, which means that the pages are covered in this like laminate material. So you can put your stickers on there and then carefully you can remove them if you want to as well. And speaking of stickers, here's a few from Sailor Drew, whose birthday was recently. Happy birthday, Sailor Drew. These are so cute. I believe I've showed off some of their products before, but Laser Cat Design makes some really, really cute products. This is a silver crystal coaster, and I love how iridescent and beautiful it is, and that it's lined with cork. That's so nice and so practical. I've shown off Moon Mama Designs pins before, but these are all little bonus items that came with my pins. So I have these three pieces of art on pop sockets and this very cute keychain. These are some keychains and stickers that I picked up from these two illustrators at a local convention here in Denver. I was very excited about them. I didn't see a lot of Sailor Moon items at Artist Alley at this convention in Denver, but I found these and I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. So I was super excited to be able to support these artists. This is such a cute gradient rainbowy keychain. So I got two of them because I figured I would use one and like probably scratch it all up to heck. And I wanted to keep an extra one and just stick it in my collection because it's so cute. I love the little star charms. I have a whole slew of stickers here. Uh, actually, this one's a magnet by Lovestruck Designs. These are by Moon Rabbit Pins. These are some stickers that were available on her website. Julia's amazing and I love her pins and I love her work. This is so pretty. I got two of those, figured I would use it. Pastel Shooting Star made these vinyl stickers. These are really pretty. And then I picked up these ones from Etsy. These are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, and I love the artwork. Obviously that is the last unicorn. And then we also have Pegasus and Pegasus and Chibiusa. These are very, very pretty. I Mai made these very pretty pieces of art. I love these, they're so cute. Uh, this is a collection of pins that I have on pre-order. At time of recording, the pins have not come in, but I do have these sticker versions. Uh, Luxie Charm Art is one of the original pin makers that I had found a long, long time ago, and I love their art. These are some stickers that they had created, and then I also got these big art prints that I'm going to put in my art print portfolio. I love the holographic paper that they use for these. Nerdy Girl Pins sent a couple of pieces of art. These are very cute, I love that. Here we have one of Luna, so pretty. And Atomic Pixies made these stickers right here. These are very Art Nouveau and I love this design, it's so pretty. Unfortunately, they were sold out of Luna when I was at this convention, but I was able to get Diana and Artemis. And then we have Naughty Art. Naughty Art makes pins as well, and these are little bonus items that come with their pins. I love the little stickers, and these are beautiful art prints. So here we have one of Serenity and Endymion. Naughty Art's art is so unique and so pretty and whimsical. Here we have one of Luna and a sticker. Oh, I hope this thing is charged because it's very pretty. This is so cool. So this is a shadow box that different distractions designs made. Oh, it works, yay. 
There we go, cool. So it is very bright in this room, but you can see the background pretty well in there. This would look so pretty displayed in a bedroom where it's a little bit darker, maybe at night. It fades from all the different colors. And then it also came with a remote in case you want to do a solid color or do a different kind of fade or a strobe. There's a lot of options on these. I'm so excited about this little series of boxes because each of these has something really cool inside of them. I bought these specifically for my studio, my tech studio, to replace some cabinetry handles. And I found these off Etsy in case you're wondering where to get them for yourself. So these came with the screws as well. So what you can do with these, they're made out of, I believe this is wood, and they have this beautiful etch of Sailor Moon transforming in front of a crescent moon on the front of them, some metallic blue. You can unscrew your old handles for cabinetry and just screw these on. And that's all you have to do. It's a very, very easy mod that anybody can really do. And then you can have brand new uh, drawer pulls on any of your cabinetry. So very pretty. So really excited to be able to replace the super boring ones on my Ikea drawers that I have in my studio downstairs and use these instead. Those were made by Boss Key Decor and they actually have a whole bunch of different kinds in case you want to use a different fandom for your own drawer pulls. This is something new. I actually purchased this online. I found this maker on Etsy as well. And this is a very, very unique item that I had not seen made before. And something that was really cool and kind of mixes my like witchy vibes as well as my Sailor Moon vibes. This item shipped from Mexico. It took a little bit of time, but honestly it was not that bad, especially because this is handmade. So I really didn't mind. So here we have my handmade Ouija board, or you could say it's a spirit board, a Ouija board, however you want to say it. This is so pretty. This was made by my Loney cat. You can find them on Etsy, but I will put a link down below in case you're interested. This also came with this little pink, uh, what are these called, placard? I forget what they're called. I'll put the name down below, but this is so cool. I need to stick the fabric back on there so it doesn't scratch my acrylic board, but there, I can totally do some, uh, I can look for some spirits in my haunted house because my house is totally haunted. This is really cool. I love it. Check out this scrunchie. This is so cute. And I love the satin fabric. I love the imagery used on here, the little icons. Look, oh, there's a moon stick right there. This is so pretty. I love that it kind of matches my hair. This is by Laced Tea. So Laced Tea has a ton of different hair accessories that you can purchase, not just Sailor Moon, but they also have a bunch of other fandoms as well, including other anime. I'm a, I'm kind of excited about having a scrunchie because I use these all the freaking time. Oh, that's so comfy. And I love that it's satin, so it won't pull on my hair. So if you are interested in Laced Tea, thank you so much for sending this, by the way. There is their Instagram handle, it's shop laced tea. And they also have a whole bunch of other fashion items as well. In case you're not interested in necessarily getting a scrunchie, they have a bunch of stuff. So definitely check out shopped laced tea down below. Usually I'm showing off small businesses, but I got a letter and it was so sweet. I'm not going to read the letter on camera. I don't think they wanted me to. Uh, this is by someone named Sky. So Sky, thank you so much for sending this letter. And they also made this very, very cute card that I wanted to show you. It says Moon Cosmic Heart Power Makeup. It's got a Cosmic Heart Compact in the middle. And then on the inside, it says Sailor Snubs. Thank you for making such awesome Sailor Moon videos. You are amazing. You're a fan, Sky. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Sky. I keep these. I keep all of these in a little photo album. And sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I'll go through the photo album. So I love things like this. So thank you so much. That really means so much to me. And I love being able to have support out there. And it really shows like that we have so much love in this community. So thank you, Sky. That was very, very sweet of you. Girl Boss Power LLC sent this over to me. Uh, they have an Amazon shop and hopefully this is still available at time of recording. Sometimes it takes me a while to do these Artist Alley videos, but this is so pretty and I wanted to share it with you today. This is a lovely notebook. It does have their own art on there. And then we also have Chibi Moon down here. On the back, it says, fight like a girl. I love that. And it says fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight. There are some planner pages up at the front for to-do lists. 
There's a mood tracker, outfit planner, tons and tons of really fun pages in here. Comic title in case you want to build out your own comic and then lots and lots of notebook pages so you can journal in here. You could use this as your own personal journal made in the USA in 2021. I love this. This is really pretty. Thank you so much, Girl Boss Power. I picked up a few new items from Marta Fontanals. I have purchased items from Marta before. In fact, I have one of their older mouse pads. Uh, this time I went back and I got the new mouse pad and I also got a couple of keychains because y'all know I like collecting keychains and these were very, very cute. Here we have our first one. This one features the Cosmic Heart Compact with lots and lots of glitter. I love the glitter. The back of it does not have the glitter, just the front. So I will be displaying it this way because my glittery self loves glitter. And then we have this very cute one of Luna with my favorite compact, the Crystal Star Compact. She's so cute. I love the vibrant colors. I love her expression. Her expression looks very, very vibrant and fun and happy. And she's got toe beans. Aww, I love the little toe beans. So cute. If you're interested in checking out Marta's website, they make beautiful jewelry. I've never had an opportunity to purchase any of their jewelry, but I kind of want like all of it. These came as little bonus items with purchase. Those are really cool. And here we have their newest mouse pad. Now this one is very, very long. I love how long this mouse pad is. So plenty of room for both your keyboard and your mouse in case you like to use both of them on a mouse pad like I do. I really like that it's not overpowering. There's not a ton of different colors on here, but it features Sailor Moon's items. Uh, not the Eternal Moon article, but it has everything else on here from the anime. Now, the cool thing about this mouse pad, ooh, I like that this is braided. That's very nice. It is micro USB. That's a little bit older, but that works just fine for powering this. This is a nice braided long USB cable because this mouse pad lights up. Let's try it out. I got smart a little while back and I was like, I'm unboxing all these USB items. I should probably have a USB power source next to me so that I can review these products for you. Wow, look at that, that's so cool. Now I think colors change, yes. So this is a fully lined mouse pad that includes this RGB, very flexible string around it. This is sewn into the mouse pad so it won't fall off or anything, but this glows. It's so cool. This glows all the way around your mouse pad so you can really, really decorate your computer desktop. That's so pretty. Very pretty, very low power, just cool all around. Now, I wonder if it does any fades. So here we're at red. Will you fade? Oh, it does fade. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have never had an RGB mouse pad before, but this one is very cool. I love that it's illuminated at the edges. That's gonna look so good next to my desktop, which was, a, it's a gaming computer and it has so many, so many lights. This is cool, very neat. Oh, that's fun. It blinks, ooh, pretty. This is really cool. And if you hold the button down, it will turn off the mouse pad. Very cool. Marta, you made a really fun thing here. How many mouse pads can one person have? I think in the past couple of days, I've unboxed like three or four of them. Here's another one. No, I've unboxed five. This is the fifth one. Or, yeah, I think I've unboxed five mouse pads. Here's another mouse pad. <laughs> this mouse pad was created by a company called Low Standard Designs. They do a lot of like car mod products. And they also had this really pretty mouse pad. I like the art on here. I like how clear it is. And I like how big this mouse pad is. Great for gaming desktops and setups. Gonna be perfect with mine. It's totally my aesthetic. Although I really like the Marta one because it lights up. I also picked up this credit card cover. This is a little cover that you can put on your credit card. Uh, this will help me define which of my credit cards I use for Sailor Moon purchases. So this will help me figure out which one I'm actually supposed to be using because I do like to separate out those expenses. This is a really beautiful license plate cover. I like this license plate frame. I like that it says Sailor Moon at the top, the original classic logo, and then we have all five of the Sailor Guardians down at the bottom. That's very nice, very nicely made, really cool. Here's a super cute lanyard, has Sailor Moon on it. That's cute. A little bonus item in the bag, it says thank you. Last but not least, I have two other brands that I wanted to show you today. This first one is called Bath and Nerdy. 
Bath & Nerdy makes very cute bath bombs. I will have to demo this bath bomb separately because I can't do it in here. I don't have a bath in this room. So I will show you demos of these bath bombs on my Instagram page. I'll do some Instagram reels. These are very pretty. They kind of remind me of Lush bath bombs because they have really, really stunning and beautiful smells and they have gorgeous artwork. I am just so impressed by the artwork that goes into making these bath bombs. They are handmade, hand painted, everything down to the scents that are built into them. They're just beautiful. Like this one, you can tell that when you use it, it's going to spread out and turn into a whole rainbow of colors. Having these on my desk, I can smell so many scents coming out of them and I just cannot wait to use these in my own bath. They're so beautiful. This one has a bunch of glitter on the front of it. That'll be so much fun. Oh my goodness, I love these. They smell so good. And then I have this one, the Cosmocart Compact. This one has a little red popping out so I know it's gonna have a bunch of beautiful colors coming out. So the ones I have here from Bath & Nerdy, uh, I have a couple of different scents for these so there are different variations of scents that you can buy with the different designs. This one I got in the Oriental Bouquet of Star Jasmine and White Lily blended with rich Indonesian patchouli, warm cinnamon, creamy French vanilla, and sensual white musk. I feel like I'm reading the back of a Bath & Body Works candle. Oh, this smells so good. Candy sweet combination of pear, cotton candy, vanilla, and cherry. Mmm, that one's gonna smell so good. What is in here? Do you hear that? Is it jewelry? I wonder. Top notes of almond, followed by notes of white cake, confiture de light. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Madagascar vanilla, let the honeymoon begin. Ooh. And lastly, through this set, I have a beautiful candy sweet combination. Oh, this one's similar to this one. It's like the same scent, just a different style. How fun. So I only got one scent of each of these, but I did get some duplicates so that I can use one and then maybe store one for a special date night or something. These are very, very pretty. Bath & Nerdy also makes whipped soaps. Like here is a whipped soap that features Sailor Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon on the front of it. And they also sent this really cute piece of jewelry. How fun. These are whipped sugar scrubs that are also by Bath & Nerdy. They make all sorts of fun things. I can't wait to use these. This one is very, very colorful, very glittery. That'll be so much fun to use. And I also got this one, which features Queen Serenity. This one also has some glitter in it, but it's different colors. And I believe it's a different scent as well. Made in Louisiana. I can't wait to use these bath bombs from Bath & Nerdy. I'm just like so obsessed. I love bath bombs. I go to Lush all the time, but Lush has not made Sailor Moon bath bombs. So, uh, which is fine because these are so cute and I feel like these are high quality. So I'm very excited to use them. The last item I wanted to share with you today is a cardigan. I have been dying to get my hands on a cardigan by Steady Hands. And I finally got one on pre-order. It just came in quite recently. This is the cardigan. Oh my gosh, it's soft very soft. This is a small medium in case you're interested in ordering one for yourself. Steady Hands is the brand. They make a lot of different cardigans and a lot of them are on pre-order so you do have to order ahead if you're planning on purchasing one. Really really beautiful fabric. I love this lavender color and it's very very soft. This is thick too so not for these hot summer days but definitely for the winter time. Uh, this will probably end up being a favorite piece that I wear during my Colorado winters. These are meant to be a little bit oversized, so I did go down a little bit in the sizing, but I think the small medium is perfect. I'm so glad that I checked my measurements and looked at their models on their website, which thank you, Steady Hands, for making such a inclusive set of model photography photos on your website. It really, really helps. This one is still a little bit oversized on me, but I think it's going to be perfect to wear like over a sweater or over a long sleeve shirt in the winter time. There are pockets, love, love that. And this is so comfy. It's just so soft. I'm very impressed with this piece as well. This is a high quality piece. It feels comfortable. It feels very nice to wear and I'm just gonna wear this all the time. I'm gonna wear it all the time. What do you think? Let me know. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to Pluto TV. 
So if you are not aware, Pluto TV is a streaming app and service, which is available here in North America. And they are currently streaming all 200 episodes and the movies of Sailor Moon for free. For example, I have a Chromecast connected to my TV and I was watching Pluto TV Sailor Moon episode streaming and it felt like I was watching it on TV. Like it, it just played. I didn't have to think about it. I just put it on in the background and I was watching Sailor Moon. It was so cool. Uh, Pluto TV sent me over this really, really cool PR box. I love this art of Sailor Sailor Moon. It reminds me of the Vans collab last year with the pastels. The box is so pretty. And they sent me the whole line of ColourPop makeup for Sailor Moon. Now you've already seen me unbox the entire ColourPop collab and test it out, so I won't do it here. But I just thought it was so cool that Pluto TV was nice enough to send over this big old box of makeup, especially since I've used up most of my ColourPop Sailor Moon makeup, so perfect timing. Thank you so much, Pluto TV. They also sent over this LED mirror and that is so useful. So thank you so much to Pluto TV. That's really cool. And I've already used your service many times. I'm so happy to see that Sailor Moon is available so easily and so accessible here in the United States. Everything here was so unique and so much fun to open. And I just had a blast going through this entire haul from my PO box. So to everybody who sent products over for me to unbox on this channel, thank you so much. And again, if you want to be featured in a future artist alley, you can hit up my PO box address down below, or you can send me a DM on Instagram as well if you wanna let me know ahead of time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to support other small businesses. It's always fun and it's always appreciated. Thanks for watching, bye y'all.